this is a Hakobo with um, uh, to Toxic. Uh, I'm using Toxic 2010 tutorial. And yeah, my tutorial before kind of went over using the Quick Paint. And what I'm going to show how to do now um, is um, have that set up. So I've gone in and painted these two cards out like that. And now I, since that takes a little longer, and since I have that, now I kind of want to just move them around so I can show kind of what I've done and then I'll go through and do it individually myself to show you what I've done is I've created a garbage mass that's just around the shape that I want. I've added a 2G transform. I actually rotated it around um, so they're not so it looks less duplicated. Um, Switch it around. And then I did a blend comp and put that over the front. And now you can see um, here's before and here's after, which is just what I wanted, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'll just create a new one and redo that and show you how I'm doing that. So anyway, the tilde key or middle mouse, go over to garbage mask, and we don't want to lay that in there, we actually want to branch it so it's creating a new one because we're going to lay it over top, and then you can branch this, put it into the garbage mask. Um, now, yeah, this one's going to be a little trickier. I'm going to set um, this as... Um, one so I can kind of see what I'm doing interactively and I'm gonna add in a couple more points because I want to kind of tweak this to go around the edge right there so let's get that a little straighter Cook my garbage mask um, let me see I think garbage mask it wanted to complete this shape. Anyways, yeah, so my garbage mask. And I'm actually, so I can get my lines to be straight, I'm just going to create four points and then close it. And then I'll hit the command key, I'll probably con control on a PC, um, or actually the alt, sorry, the alt key. That will add in points, which I'll be able to alter. Now I have straight lines in that. Just like that. Now um, I'm going to add a little bit of feathering. Now I'll hit the command key. Um, and if you hit the command key when you're over one of these, it'll curve it and you can and also when you're over one of the edges you can just move one or the other. But I don't really want to curve it if you go over a line and hit the command key. Um, you can actually add sort of a feathering. And I'll probably want that. We can go out a little bit on that. All right. Now, blend and comp didn't have any special settings, so I'll just hit the C key and drag that out. Hit the Alt key to bring that in. It's in the back input like we want. Now, I'll just bring in a 2D transform and feed that in and I'm going to bring it to the front of the blend and comp set hold this down and hit one so this will be my one one view like that and then when I hit one it'll be displaying this view but then I can go and edit so now I should be able to um, this around. Let me see. Oh yeah, that is right. For the garbage mass, I need to go over, and instead of doing comp over, I want this to be a cutout, and I'll look at that. And it's not cutting out the way I want, so I want it to just invert it, so it's just that right there. So cutout, invert, 
Then when I go to this and hit the one key, now I should be able to. Um, so yeah, using this, you can move it around, you can rotate it, to scale it up or down, it might scale it a little bit. Now I want to go over to my garbage mask, and using this, I can kind of set it up the way that I want it to go. Um, so yeah, I'll just cover up the blue lines right there. And move these over. Move this up a little bit. Move this out a little bit. So it's covering it up. And I'll probably take even more care with this for the final. And you can always control click. Get that set up. This isn't quite looking right up there. We want this up a little bit. And we want to be seeing the edge of the card right there. And what I can do, I kind of want a little bit more edge. So what I can do is go into my garbage mask. And um, you can see there's different tools here. But this one right here, let me scale it down a little bit. And then once I go here, I can kind of, that'll give me a little more feather to work with. Um, once I go to my 2D transform. And now I'll kind of need to go in and tweak these a little more, but I won't use much more of your time. Um, I'll get this to work perfectly myself. But you definitely have ways to kind of cool achieve cool looks and different things like that. So, um, yeah, I can make another tutorial if you'd be interested in learning more about this.